the 2017 The Bass Fest did not disappoint. Mike and Lori Birch take second place in this event. And Lori catches on her personal best, a 10.45 taking big fish. Let's see how this team caught their fish. Hey, here we are, second place in the tournament at the Bass Fest 2017. I got the Birches here. I got Lori and Mike and yeah, that guy right there. Mike's had a great year. Lori's been with him a couple of times, and they have been really up. Mike and Lori have been a roller coaster when it comes to some of these bodies water. But when it comes to the California Delta, he's a spike or he's a lull. And I tell you what, spikes are this year for the 2017. These two right here have been doing a great job. And then today, this young lady right here catches a 1045, her personal best. And I tell you what, while hubby was throwing this big frog, She's going, what? Drop shot. She's drop shot off the back of the boat. Tell us what you usually do when you like to drop shot. What, do you read it with Bray, or is it all four carbon? Talk to me. Bray with the leader. Bray, okay, and what pound test is the leader? 12. 12 pound test. And how far from the bottom, from the weight, up to the hook? How many inches is that? About six. That's six inches? Yeah. <laughs> That's the length of the worm. The length of the worm. There you go. That's it. The length of the worm. So anyway, <laughs> this is just awesome because. She really was excited about catching that big fish on a worm. And um, tell, tell him something, man. I mean, she's excited, but she's you were so excited, excited for her. You she's, were so excited. She's been like this at 7.45 this morning. It's awesome. Even the boat broke down. We got towed in with vessel assist. We missed over half of the day. She's still like, it's all right. It's all right. You got vessel assist. Don't get the fish back. It's all good. No big deal, Mike. Like, man, well, you're right. It's just fishing. So we, we went to this little spot over here. We were right near the track, and we ran. So 10 minutes here, I got this note card written down with all my spots. I'm like, and we're going to have to high turn the switch. And we had all this stuff to go to. Good water, right? So we pulled up. We got a limit in the boat in eight minutes. I'm like, they're eating a the frog with that warm water we were talking about last night, that they might be doing that. And they were missing a the frog. They were blowing it up, missing it. And then she got one on her buzz bait. But it was more of an open water frog deal. So we got four pounds in a boat, six pounds, seven pounds, whatever. We called, we're bounce beaming. Um, the new uh, money beam back there is awesome. We've used it a lot today. The bottom line is we ended up calling a bunch of 310s, 320s, 40s, and then 50s at the end. 350s, we came up with two of those and our big one. So when we went through this bank, we were going to be there 10 minutes, had the running lights on, both live wheels, wanted to take care of the fish, the high definition graphs. All of a sudden, I went to we, we went through this bank and we're like, we gotta go through this again. The whole game plan's out. They're eating here. Don't run from eating fish. So she, we go back down and again. She's like, I'm gonna start drop shot. I'm like, that's ah, a frog bite or get a punch or something. I'll, don't, you know, just let her drop shot. Next thing you know, she's got this. She's like, it's a good one. And I look back there and she's like this, and she's got it, the rod buried in her, her stomach, and it's like it's it's a tuna. I'm like, it's one of those. This is a good one. I pulled the trolling motor up, raised the big motor. We don't want any of that to go bad. There's no wind to push me in the rocks. Just get all that out of the way. And it comes up and it's starting to jump. And I was like, keep the rod down. She did a great job. She reeled as that thing was coming up and it kind of belly flopped and wallowed. And she's like, is it 10? I'm like, yeah, it's a good one. And then, so after that, the thing just decides it didn't want to go this way and starts screaming to the boat. She's like, why didn't you net it? As it went under the boat, I'm like, no, it's still three feet under and going this way. So she pulls it back. It was like a four-minute battle. You know, if you would have hit that with a net oh, going by. Oh, I, we never would have talked you, again. You would have been a couch boy. Yeah, and, and so we can't see the fish. It's under the boat. The trolling motor's up. Everything's good. So she pulled it, and it's like, here comes the head. She's like, don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> and she said, oh, well, and I got that head in there, and she just slid right in, and we're high fiving and kissing and everything. And we went back through that bank again, nothing. And then we went to crank the motor, click, 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 click. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Called vessel assist. Everybody needs to have boat US out here. They're a savior out here. Um, called Randy. Hats off to BVT staff. He hooked up with Gabe and Hook. Thanks, Gabe and Hook. 
had a battery waiting there two and a half hours later when I came in from the tow on the dock. We did a little NASCAR switch out about two minutes. I had the tools. And then we went running. We went running out by Stockton. Some of the two guys are right on my stuff. I'm like, oh, wow. So, I, so then we just ran around. We bounced in and called a few more and just never got another big bite. We were using 12 pound gamma today. That's as light as I've ever used. We drop shot a lot. You guys know that. Uh, we like punching and frogging, but we love to drop shot. We used 20 in the spring, and the water's really clear out here. We've been using 15, and it was so clear that I said, let's try 12. This is as light as I'll go on the river. It held up. Thank God. And, and one of your sponsors, the bait that caught the team was? That was a straight king finesse worm, six and a half inch, and it's the ox blood. You guys know out here that have been out pit fishing for a while, Robert Lee used to kick everybody's butt, and he's won a couple fast masters on that ox blood zipper worm. Strike King makes one that looks pretty much just like it, and we drop shot with it. So it looks a lot like the needle lantern, but it's got the ox blood belly and the red flake, and it's dynamite. I've been using it for about three weeks, and I'm out now. <laughs> That's it, no more. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, that was the day. Um, the boat ran great the rest of the day, and we made it back. So I got to ask you this. When you're fishing, because you've done really well on the, uh, on the Delta recently, and you've had some good, good tournaments, good fishes, so you're using, this, you're using that drop shot of doing it. What are you targeting? Because these people want to know what exactly are you targeting to catch some of these better quality fish? Current right now, um, grass. Lord, if you can find it, the way they're spraying out here and dropping pellets, you'll find, I mean, you'll find a good patch of grass and you go back the next day and there's nothing there. It's just zero. You look under graph, there's not even a clump. So I just drive around a whole lot at low tide and I look for grass. So I went to this area the other day where we started, where we are going to spend 10 minutes and we ended up spending a lot longer. The grass looked right. And well, now when you see the grass, you know, we got lots of grass on the Delta. What kind of grass are you talking about? The hydrologic area intensive stuff that's offshore, and it was green, so that's healthy. Green with white flowers on it, I was like, oh yeah. There's not a whole lot of it right now. Usually it's everywhere. And so when we see that, this morning we had that high tide rising up. We were fishing, the, the rocks are here and the weed line's about 10, 15 yards off. We're fishing the trough. And then when we went back through it again, I thought it'd be a good idea. She threw that out a little deeper, she did too. And she I took the boat really slow and she caught that eight to nine feet. Current with good grass line on it. That's what it was, healthy grass. But you know, you heard from the 10 pound queen right here, and then you heard from the king netter right here. I tell you what, great combination. Give a round of applause for our second place team. 2017, the Bass Fest. Come on out and play next year.